Hello all you aficionados out there and happy Fry Friday to you. Um, this Fry Friday I am actually going to show you some fry. First off, well there's one that just came to the top right there as I was talking about fry. Uh, that is one that was born in this tub this summer. Um, I did not put that one in here. That is one, there's one right there, just swam right there just as I was talking uh, earlier and you could see it but um because the glare is so bad but really interesting is that oh, there's one right next to the plant root you can see it towards the back and it's being chased around a little bit but it's doing just fine um so there's one coming to the top right next to that root again right there there's one and um but anyways, uh, it's really interesting because last night I came to put in this, um, okay, so earlier on this summer, as you'll see in my er earlier videos, um, I'll post a link to them for my uh, summer tubbing and fry Friday videos. You'll notice that these tanks were the, for the mo these tubs were for the most part uh, bare, I guess you would say, no plants on top. And then after watching some videos from uh, Michael's Fish Room, which I'll put a link to his channel right here and uh, Rob Hicks um, Aquarium. Uh, I'll put some links to his uh, right after uh, uh, Michael's uh, Fish Room. Put a link to them right here also and uh, uh, down below. I um, was watching some of their uh, summer tub in and I saw how many plants they had and how you could just see the fry just swimming around in the, in the plants. I don't think we see any down in here. Not, not right now, but. Um, I was feeling kind of guilty and over the past I say probably two weeks I realized you know I've got to go to the pond store and I've got to go get some um, pond plants some floating aquatic plants and um, so I was talking about it then I went to my aunt's uh, koi pond as I just posted for this uh, water change Wednesday uh, I went to her koi pond she had like two or three water uh, hyacinth and I was like, I need to get some of those, and I was talking to her on the phone, which that that can take forever because my entire family, including me, obviously has the gift of gab, and we were talking about some water hyacinth and how she needed to go get some more, and I was like, well, yeah, I need to go there to get some more uh, plants for my for my uh, summer ponds, my uh, guppy tub as well. Well, I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll go there, I'll go there. Well. Last night, well, when I'm filming this last night, on Wednesday night, I went to my local uh, fish club meeting and I was finally able to stay for an, an auction um, until the very end. And I got the um, distinguished uh, pleasure of being able to be what they refer to as the uh, Vanna White. Um, I got to be the runner, uh, the person that um, showed off the products that were up for auction at the time that were being bidded on, and I won a few bids. Um, as you can see, we probably can't see, but they're right here. Uh, some of the things I won. Um, most of the tubs that you'll see throughout this video are filled with plants that I won. Uh, these came in basically three bags. The uh, regular size uh, water lettuce, the uh, uh, dwarf uh, water lettuce, which is right here, I think. Definitely right here. And then the smaller plants, which are, I think right there is an example. I might have them in have better examples in other tubs but it's called a, a frog bit is what I have and they're all floating uh, plant which is great and literally last night when I got home in the dark I put these plants in and almost instantly I saw fry swimming up to the top in the plants like I hadn't ever seen uh, before and I haven't even fed these fish yet and they're still being this active just because of the plants so if you're considering doing um, guppy ponds or guppy you know fish tubs whatever definitely don't be stupid like me make sure you start off the summer with floating aquatic plants first off it gives the fish a place to hide it gives them a shaded area it helps to put oxygen in the water it helps to uh, remove the nitrates as we all know uh, that's what one of the benefits of um, aquatic plants aquatic plants is are that those three uh, benefits Man, I'm thinking over how many fry you're seeing now at the top. If I just sit here and sit still and stay focused a little bit, which is kind of difficult for me, but it's a super 
huge difference from this video. There's a smaller fry coming up to the top. All right, right there, really small one. Um, and um, last night I swished around with the net underneath of the plants and uh, I caught a few fry and I put them into the fry bucket and I'll show you which bucket they're in, but uh, I wanted to get them out of there and put them into the grow out tub. Even though the larger ones in here are gonna do just fine, there were some that I was able to tell even from the top are definitely males. So I got them out and moved them over to start to separate them a little bit. So anyways, um, here we go. This is once again the uh, mystery tub. Um, here's some of that frog bed. I'm not sure how it's gonna do. Um, looking kind of a weak color right there but um, some frog bit there's some more frog bit right there dwarf uh, water lettuce regular water lettuce the uh, uh, dwarf uh, water lettuce is from one of my former students which is pretty cool this is the female uh, female uh, grow out tub one of them definitely would be ready to be moved over to the um, regular guppy tub I found a male in here yesterday which will, which would explain why there, uh, I also found a few fry in here yesterday. So I scooped them out and moved them over. And um, so now they're in the fry tub. So as you see, it's really important. I put the, uh, some plants. So this is mostly a dwarf uh, water lettuce in this fry bucket. Um, the ha and the snails are loving it too, apparently. So that's great to see. Um, they're probably eating up the, the dead pieces of the plants and make it look nice and everything. And these are some of my younger fry that I have that I actually see it's very active. I think these are fry from my Fancy Fen female is what they are possibly. I'm not sure. I'll have to uh, wait till they get bigger. I forget which female they're from. But um, here's another fry bucket um, with some obviously some fry and some plants in here. This is my bachelor pad. They're doing pretty nicely. So we're getting some extra colors on them. I think I might have some fry in here. I didn't check last night too much, but there should be some fry in here. And then finally, I have some fry over in this one, in this bucket with some plants that I added last night as well. Um, so um, I know on, uh, here's them. I think this is the one I added the, no, this is the one I added the fry to. Uh, last night, but um, I know I did a live stream on Wednesday That was not uh, fish content It was gardening content someone made a uh, request the bottom, you know next video. Please make it fish content Yeah, there's one of the fry I, I added right there So uh, this is actual fish content. I think Yeah, I also made the pond video on Wednesday as well to uh go along with that person's um, um, request for, for fish footage. So uh, this is more fish footage as uh, requested by a viewer. So if you have any uh, requests or comments or questions that could turn into possible videos in the future, please be sure to comment below. Um, a lot of your questions and comments do turn into future video ideas and it makes for what I think to be great viewer driven content. So I really do appreciate those comments and questions. Anyways, Wednesday was a live stream that was um, uh, gardening, obviously, and not fish. So here's some, finally some fry for Fry Friday for you. And I'm really excited. I'll probably keep it on this tub over here just so you can watch and enjoy and get down on their level and uh, see if you can see some more, get rid of the glare as best I can. We can find some more fry in the plants here. Not seeing any of the plants right now, but it was just crazy how much better having aquatic plants will improve your outdoor guppy ponds, your summer tubbing. Um, it's just amazing the difference. It's night and day, um, and it literally happened last night, and I can see the difference today. Um, you like what I did there? Um, so pretty exciting. Um, what else? Oh, this uh, mystery fish tub right here. Uh, I did check on them last night. I did a nice quick swoop of the net, and there is still one of the mystery fish in there. So we'll see how many when I drain it in about two months. I'll drain all these tubs and 
We'll see exactly how many fry I end up with because at the bottom of these tubs that you can't see right now, you might be able to see it in earlier videos. I have uh, a lot of yarn in the bottom as, as a early hide for the fish uh, back before I had plants in here and I knew that the yarn would sink to the bottom and the fry would have a place to hide and it would be a great place for an insephoria to grow which is a great live food for uh, babies for, for fry. Um, it's really small, almost too small for guppy fry because they're rather big as, uh, as far as fish fry go. But um, yeah, the uh, yarn was a great place to house uh, insephoria which is fish fr uh, fr fry food. Um, and a hiding place for them as well. So once I do empty out the tubs, I'll be excited to see the results of how many fry um, came out of each tub and, and each bucket. Uh, because in s some of the buckets I did uh, have some females that I knew were pregnant and just let them drop fry in there. So we'll see the uh, exact number. I, think. I probably won't count because there'll be so many, I'm pretty sure. So most people are dealing with like Michael's fish room. My former student last night says he has so many fry he, he can count them right now. They're being born outside. It's, it's just crazy. I think next summer I might uh, step up my game and do some some other fish uh, outdoors other than just guppies. I might do some. Um, might continue to do with these mystery fish maybe. Um, I might do some. Um, maybe I'll raise up. Uh, see if I can breed some. Uh, uh, white clouds or maybe some uh, tetras, some uh, neon tetras maybe. I know they aren't really profitable, but it's fun. I mean, that's what this hobby is all about. So, it's having fun. It's not about making money because all I'm making is mud guppies. So, if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you give me a comment. If you have any questions or requests for future videos, subscribe and um, share with your friends. Keep it fishy, people.